When you want to see your business data in a visually compelling, interactive, and actionable way, there's nothing better than a lightning experience dashboard. Roberto, a sales manager, plans to kick off his overview presentation at the quarterly Ursa Major Solar sales meeting with a dashboard that tracks his team's success. Let's help Roberto set up the dashboard. Get started from the Dashboards tab. Click New Dashboard, name and describe the dashboard, and save it to a folder for organizing and sharing. The grid layout in the Dashboard Builder lets you place components wherever they'll have the most impact. To add one, click Add Component. Select the source report with the data you want to visualize. Each component draws from a single report, but you can use different reports for different components. Now for the fun part, customizing the component. Let's start with a headline of key metrics to set the stage for the rest of the story. See how the preview on the right changes when you change a setting on the left? There are oodles of customizations to choose from, including the measure to report, how to display the units, ranges and display color, component title, and more. Click Add. The component shows up on the dashboard grid. To reposition, drag the component. To resize, grab and pull an edge marker. To complete the top headline view, we've added some additional metric components. Now let's add some charts to the dashboard. Chart options are available for any report that includes at least one grouping. Select the funnel chart. Change display units to a shortened number. Select stage from color by. Select show percentages. And title the chart Ops Pipeline. The preview dynamically updates as you customize the chart. After discussing the Opportunity Pipeline, Roberto wants to be able to update some opportunities, so let's add a custom link to the Opportunities tab. To pop over to the tab from the completed dashboard, expand the component, and then click the link icon. A bar chart is ideal for showing accounts by industry. Now, let's add a table with record-level information in case anyone asks detailed questions during the meeting. Select the columns you want to include and other settings, like component name and sort order. Conditional highlighting lets you call attention to particular value ranges. By default, tables show record-level information but if you'd like to report on measures like sum, average, minimum or maximum, no problem as long as you set a column to group by. Select the column to group by and the measures you want to report. When you group by a user or a group name field, like Opportunity Owner, you can even add personality to your table by including chatter photos. So far, we've looked at what you can do with individual dashboard components, but some settings apply to the entire dashboard. Viewing options let you choose whether viewers will see the same data that you see, the same data as another selected person, or their own data. You can also set the color theme and palette for the whole dashboard. Palette settings are only available at the dashboard level but you can override the theme at the individual component level. Roberto plans to discuss the Opportunity Pipeline by industry. Let's help him add a dashboard level filter to show how things are going in retail, the company's biggest industry segment. Selecting the filter when viewing the dashboard narrows down the data to that segment. Roberto now has all the pieces of his dashboard and he's ready to wow everyone at the sales meeting. To learn more about what you can do with dashboards, see these topics in Salesforce Help, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.